So in this video, I will show you how you can implement the macOS clipboard in your SwiftUI apps. I have a very basic app here and it's just a SwiftUI list of two strings. The first string is hello and the second one is world. Very basic stuff. Now I want the user to be able to select strings. That is already working since I have adopted the selection parameter here with a set of strings in my SwiftUI list. But now if I hit command C to copy something, I want to actually copy the string that is selected. Let's get right into it. There are two very easy view modifiers that we can actually use here. And the first one is to copy something to the clipboard. And the second one is to create our custom paste action. So when the user pastes something into our app. Now to copy, we can just add the dot copyable view modifier. And in here you can see that the payload needs to be an array that conforms to the transferable protocol. I will tell you more about that protocol in a minute. Right now we will just create an array of our selection. And remember that the selection here is just a set of strings. All right, so now we actually have our copyable view modifier here that allows the user to copy the selected string to their clipboard when pressing the system copy action, which is command and C on the keyboard. But we also want to, of course, do something when the user pastes a value. So for example, we can now add the paste destination modifier and make sure to also have that for parameter there. So uh, this is actually very similar to the navigation, navigation destination view modifier that got added recently. So here we will specify a type that we want to uh, yeah, create a paste destination here. So in our case, we care about string.self and then we get an action, which I will just uh, create here and you can grab the new values, basically those transferable things that got pasted into your application. And now in here we can do whatever and just for the sake of the video, we will print out the values, but in reality you might want to, for example, add them to the list. So let's bring up the console and let's run the app. And then we will see I can now select hello, press command C, press command V. And if you open up the console again, we can see that hello was printed. And if I select both hello and world, hit command C, hit command V, you will see that both of them get printed. One thing to note here is that we are using a set of string which is unordered, which means that in this case, world gets printed first and then hello second. So this is something that you will have to handle on your end with some custom sorting logic basically. So I've just changed the original values up here from a constant to a state variable. So now we can actually append the values to our list. So we can then just say original values dot append contents of our newly pasted values. Now we are using the um, hashable conformance here of string as our identifier, which means that we can't really um, paste the same strings again because that might mess with SwiftUI's identifier stuff. So we will just select some random text here and copy that. And now we run the app and then we will just try out this new paste destination. So I'm clicking somewhere here into the app, hitting command V. And now you can see that selection colon dollar selection actually got pasted into our list and it's now part of our SwiftUI list and thus also of our original values state variable. In most of my recent projects, I'm actually using core data to manage all of my locally stored and also stored in iCloud data for my users. So for example, in LaunchBuddy, I'm storing all of their apps, their tasks and so on in core data. Now core data can be a bit tricky to understand at first since, since it is quite an old framework with a ton of different features and really old APIs in some cases really new APIs in other cases. Now, if you want to learn more about core data, my friend Mark Moikens over at Big Mountain Studio recently released his core data book. I really recommend you to check it out. If you do so, you can use my affiliate link down in the video description. I have now taken the example from the Apple developer documentation to quickly show you how the transferable protocol works and how you can use it to let your users copy some custom types or some custom data from your app. So in this example here, we have an, a struct called item 
which is identifiable and conforms to the transferable protocol. It has a color, which is just a SwiftUI color, a name, which is a string, and an ID property, which is of course needed to be identifiable. And then it has this transfer representation, which is some transfer representation. And then here we just use the proxy representation, exporting just the name property. Have a look here. This is a key path to the name property, which is just a string. So whenever this item gets copied, we are actually just copying the name string of the item. Now in our SwiftUI view here, we have an array of items, red, green, and blue. And we once again have a selection state variable so we can have the selection property on our SwiftUI list. And then we also have the copyable uh, view modifier. So now let's run this app real quick. And here you can see this is just a list of three colors. So now if we, for example, click on green, this row is selected because we of course have the selection uh, view or the selection parameter for our SwiftUI list. Now I can copy this and I am using here a uh, copy clip, I believe is what this app is called. It's, it's just a menu bar app that shows you what you copy to your clipboard. And in this example here, we can see that just the string green got copied and we can actually uh, double check that if we just go here back into Xcode and paste, then we'll see that just the string green got copied. This was just a quick overview of how the transferable protocol works, how you can use it for your own custom data, and of course, how you can support copy and paste in your SwiftUI apps. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and suggest new video ideas in the comments if there's anything you struggle with in SwiftUI or Swift.